Hello and welcome to another episode of Blasticated Painting. Today we're going to be painting a bunch of guys that walk in single file. To hide their numbers. Today we're going to be painting the Tusken Raiders by Squamous Miniatures. Um, these can be used in your games of Star Wars Legion. These miniatures are so cool. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I'm just a huge fan of... Squamish miniatures and the work that they do. I really uh, just wanted to get these uh, painted up as soon as I saw them. These are part of Squamish miniatures December Patreon release, so you have lots of time to still get them. Uh, if you have a 3D printer or you know someone who does, uh, definitely look into it because these are awesome. Let's paint them. So first thing we're going to do is give these guys a spray of black and white from above and a zenithal, and then we're going to take some skeleton horde. Now this is going to go on all of their robes, but not the wrappings on their hands, legs, or uh, face. So just the robe parts. Then we're going to mix some sand golem and some aggro's dunes together. We're going to water it down and this is going to go on all the wrappings. So their hands, their legs, uh, their face, everything that we didn't paint with the uh, skeleton horde, except for the belts. We're going to take some bone white and we're going to do a really light and gentle dry brush on everything we already uh, painted. So just take your time, go slow, and just get those colors kind of built up. Now the reason for this dry brush is in all the reference photos that I looked at, their cloaks and their wrappings were really, really similar colors, but not so similar that we could just use the same color, plus we didn't want them to look too I don't know, matching too much of the same. So this will tie together the two colors we use, but they'll still look slightly different enough. And we're gonna take some hardened leather and this is going on all the belts. It's also going on the leather piece uh, around what I would take is their mouth. We're gonna switch to dark wood and this is going on the stock of the rifle and also on the Gatfi stick. Next we're gonna take some gunmetal and this is gonna go on the end of the Gatfi stick, on the metal parts of the rifle, on the eye holes and the head spikes here also on the uh, rebreather around their necks. There's also a little spot on the top of the mouth too that's metal. We're gonna switch over to Grave Lord Grey once all that metal is dried and we're just gonna put a nice coating of that over all the metal. And at that point, the sand people are pretty much done if we just finish the bases. But hey, I know what you're saying. What if that Patreon from Squamish Miniatures also came with a Bantha? How would I paint that? Well, let me show you. So this is the Bantha here, and the same thing that we always do is the black spray with a Zenithal Prime from above, and we already painted the sand person riding on top. So let's do this. Let's take some Rattling Grime, Gorgunter Fur, and Agaros Dunes. Now the Gorgunter Fur is going to go on the topmost part of the fur. And we're going to go down and blend it into the Rattling Grime. And around the mouth, we're going to use the Agaros Dunes. So we're just going to go through with this Gorgunter Fur. And uh, while it's still wet, we're going to start adding the Rattling Grime here. And we're just going to blend those two together. Gonna try and stay away from the lips here. And we're just gonna slowly go down and bring that rattling grime to the bottom most parts of the fur. And before that rattling grime dries, we're gonna mix together some of this aggro's dunes around the edges 
and uh, do this around the mouth. Now, I did look up some reference photos to see, and that it looks like there's a lighter spot around the mouth. Once that's done, we're going to take some Fire Slayer flesh, and we are going to do the eye uh, sets. I don't know, skin around the eye, and also the lips. So when Luke would look through the electro binoculars and go, well, there are two Banthas down there, but I don't see any. Wait a minute, there's a sand person, all right. I can see one of them now. That never was shown. If you had the modified to fit your TV version, the sand person was over here. You never saw it. I spent hours looking at that little square of a TV going, where, I don't, where is it? It wasn't until years later when I saw it in widescreen where I was like, it's right there. These were the challenges us old people had. You kids got it good with your widescreen TVs and being able to see sand people. That's, that's, that's a privilege that I didn't have. Now we're going to go to some Naz Drag Yellow, and this is going to go all over their horns and their toenails. So take your time, just push that, uh, Naz drag yellow around so it's not pooling too much, but you know, pooling a little bit where at least where it should be. We're gonna switch to some snake bite leather, and this is gonna go on all the ropes that are uh, on the uh, saddle blankets, I guess. And we're going to jump back to that hardened leather, and this is going to go on any of the straps. So he's got some straps on the back here. He's also got some straps up under his horns, and also these uh, these pouches that are on there. So they kind of match the uh, sand trooper a little bit. We're going to switch to chain mail silver, and this is just going to go on his eyes. We're going to take some Saigor brown, and we're going to mix in some slaughter red to make a red uh, brown here. And this is gonna go on this part of the saddle blanket. We're gonna switch to some Gargak sewer. And uh, this is gonna go on the front part of the uh, saddle blanket. So this section here. Make sure you get this uh, all over. Um, and also the spot in between his legs that he's sitting on. We're going to switch to some straight Agaros dunes, and this is just going to go on this part of the blanket here. Then we're going to take some camo cloak, now this is going to go on some of these uh, hanging bags here. So there's one in the middle and one at the back, so we'll just do the opposite on each side. We're going to switch to Runic Grey, and we're going to do the same thing we just did with the Camel Cloak, just on the opposite bags. And we're going to jump back to Gravelord Grey really quickly here, and we're just going to do his eyeballs right over that silver. And we're going to take some Blood Red, and this is going to go on the blanket rolled up on the back. We're going to take some Bone White, and this is going to be a light dry brush on the Nasdrag Yellow of the Horns. Take some desert sand, earth texture. This is going all over their bases. While that earth texture is still wet, we'll drop some uh, sand on there. We're going to take some seraphim sepia, and this is going to go just as a shade on all their bases. Now, this is the old formula of seraphim sepia. I don't know how the new one will react like this. We're going to take a black rim and go around the base here, and these guys are done. So check them out. They look pretty cool, actually. I'm really, uh, 
I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, uh, it, it's it's a harder um, color palette to work with. It's a lot of light browns and uh, beiges and to get them looking right was uh, I had to do some thinking that's for sure and I'm not so good at thinking but they turned out really good I'm really actually quite happy with them and this Bantha turned out awesome I'm so happy with how it looks honestly it didn't take that long the blending of the colors worked really well I'm really happy with this so, the Sand People are some of the coolest designs in Star Wars. I've always loved them, and I was really excited when I saw that it was going to be this month's uh, Patreon uh, rewards. And uh, they were a ton of fun to paint. I'm really happy. Get ready for an unpopular opinion. I really liked the book of Boba Fett, and I know a lot of people didn't, but I thought it was great. And I thought him living with the Tuscans was awesome. Because they had to show how he was going to turn from being a you know, kind of a not nice bounty hunter to a leader. And uh, I really like that show. Uh, let me know in the comments below how much you disliked it, because apparently everybody but me did. Please remember to go back and watch our terrain giveaway video. We are still running that contest. All you have to do is leave a comment and be a subscriber on that video, and uh, you'll be entered to win. I'll be drawing the winner for that video on December 26th, so please watch the December 26th video that comes out and you'll find out if you won or not. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those YouTube things, and you guys have a great day. I don't know where the wood is coming from to make these Gadfi sticks. I'm not sure where that... I guess the planet used to... the Tatooine used to be covered in water. Where's this wood all coming from? Also, if the planet was covered in water, but is now covered in sand, and it's the Dune Sea, does that mean it's driftwood? Just something to think about. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting just the men. Not the women and the children. They're animals. And I painted them like animals. It's a pretty good Hayden Christensen. <laughs>